Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. What are the important considerations for centrifugation in the bioprocess workflow? I am Michelle Ashton of LabRoots, and I'll be your moderator for today's event. Today's educational web seminar is presented by LabRoots and brought to you by Thermo Fisher Scientific. To learn more, visit thermofisher.com. Let's get started. Before we begin, I would like to remind everyone that this event is interactive. We encourage you to participate by submitting as many questions that you want and any time you want during the presentation. To do so, simply type them into the Ask Question box and click Send. We'll answer as many questions as we have time for at the end of the presentation. If you have trouble seeing or hearing the presentation, please click on the support tab found at the top right of the presentation window or report your problem by clicking on the ask a question box located on the far left of your screen. This presentation is educational and thus offers continuing education credits. Please click on the continuing education credits tab located at the top right of the presentation window and follow the process to obtain your credits. I now present today's speaker, Benoit Limon, Bioprocess Application Specialist, Floor Model Centrifuges at Thermo Fisher Scientific. For a complete biography on our speaker, please visit the biography tab at the top of your screen. Ben, you may now begin your presentation. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, everyone. And thanks again for joining today's webinar about important considerations for centrifugation in the bioprocess workflow. My name is Benoit Limon, and I'm working for Thermo Fisher Scientific as a bioprocess application specialist for floor model centrifuges. The presentation is composed of three sections and will last for about 30 to 40 minutes. Your questions will be answered after the presentation for the remaining of the time. The section one is the bioprocess applications where the centrifuges play an important part. The section two is the important considerations for centrifugation in the bioprocess workflow and ways a centrifuge addresses these considerations. The section three is the Thermo Fisher Scientific Bioprocess Centrifuges. Let us start with section one and take a closer look at the bioprocess workflow and what are harvest, clarification, and purification, concentration, polishing steps in which centrifuges play an important part. Let us first remind what is bioprocess again? That is a specific process that uses complete living cells to obtain a desired product. The cells are used as a factory to produce the product of interest. The process is made of upstream and downstream processes, which are defined in the next slides. The upstream process is an entire process from early cell isolation and cultivation, the cell banking and culture expansion of the cells until termination of the culture and collection of the live cell batch. At the end of the upstream, the batch volume may range from one liter up to 10,000 liters, depending on the scale, and contain the product of interest, the culture media, and other particles. The downstream process is the entire process concentrating and purifying the product of interest to meet purity and quality requirements. It is usually divided in successive steps. The separation of the biomass, also called harvest, 
in which centrifuge may play an important part. The cell description, if the product of interest is intracellular. The separation of the cell debris, also called clarification, in which centrifuge may play an important part. The purification, concentration, and polishing, in which the centrifuge may also play an important part. And finally, the formulation and the packaging. In the downstream process, the harvest is the separating and the collecting of the product of interest from the culture media. The process volume may range from 1 liter to 10,000 liters, depending on the process scale. Centrifuge may play an important part in the harvest step. In the downstream process, the clarification is the removing of liquid micro-sized substances from the product of interest. Process volume may range from 100 milliliters to 1,000 liters, depending on the process scale and the harvest method. The centrifuge may play an important part in the clarification step. In the downstream process, the purification, concentration, polishing is the removing of liquid nano-sized substances from the product of interest. Process volume may range from 10 milliliters to 100 liters depending on process scale and clarification method. Centrifuge may also play an important part in the purification, concentration, polishing step. For example, in cell therapy manufacturing, the centrifuge may play an important part to harvest and concentrate the cells. Usually, it is wall cell separation at low G-force. The wall cell is the product of interest. No damage on the cell is key. The workflow is media preparation, cell cultivation, cell harvest and concentration in which the centrifuge may play an important part, then the buffer exchange and following steps. In the case of gene therapy manufacturing, the centrifuge may play an important part at different steps of the process. First, used in the microbial cell separation at mid G force to harvest either the intracellular or the extracellular product of interest for the preparation of the DNA vector. Then, used in the main process after cell transfection and culture expansion at low G force to harvest the product of interest from the wall cell. Then at mid G force to clarify the product of interest, and finally at high G force in combination with other techniques to purify and concentrate the product of interest. For monoclonal antibodies manufacturing, when considering the product of interest is intracellular. The centrifuge may play an important part to harvest at low G force the cell biomass palette and then to clarify at mid G force the supernatant containing the product of interest from the cell biomass palette mosaics. In the case of egg-based viral vaccine manufacturing, centrifuge may play an important part 
to clarify that new G force, the anatomic fluid containing the virus of interest from the unbrained egg, and then to concentrate and purify at high G force the virus of interest from the anatomic fluid. When looking at cell-free protein expression manufacturing, the centrifuge may play an important part to remove components like nucleus or vacuole of the cell at various G-force. Let us continue with section two, discussing how the centrifuge addresses the contamination control, the scalability, the compliance, the flexibility, and the reliability important considerations in the bioprocess workflow. Here is now section 2A, the contamination control important consideration. The control of the contamination is important because it can endanger all types of cell culture and the consequences range from relatively mild workflow disturbances to total paralysis of the productivity within the facility. As you know, the relatively large numbers of contaminants circulating in the most environments increases likelihood of contamination breaching any barriers protecting the bioprocess. Sometimes contamination is not easy to recognize. Two, so the best strategy is usually based on prevention with eradication of contamination where it does occur. To control contamination in the batch centrifuge, one should ensure that the, contain the containers are clean and sterilized by performing cleaning and decontamination validation or using single-use sterilized ready-to-use containers. The containers should be manipulated in a clean air environment when loading and emptying the solution, and also the use of a closed system is possible. To control contamination in a zonal or continuous flow centrifuge, one should ensure that the product path is clean and sterilized by also performing cleaning and decontamination validation or using single-use sterilized and ready-to-use containers assembly steps. In addition, the system should be designed to prevent potential leaks, especially at the union seed joints. When performing the harvest and clarification steps to control contamination when using a centrifuge, please consider the following. The use of sterilized single-use container and assembly set. It comes with sterility certificate. It is ready to use and no post-use cleaning. The use of closed system, it reduces the risk of contamination the use of cleaning services. Outside partners exist to clean and sterilize containers with certification. When performing the purification, concentration, polishing steps, to control contamination when using the centrifuge, please consider the following. 
use an integrated process control. It provides an automated closed system process and maintain pressure difference across the union seat joints to reduce the risk of contamination. Use system capable of coolant sanitization as well as clean in place, CIP, and steam in place, SIP, to ensure sterile condition. Use system with level of weight of coolant and lubricant fluids, monitoring device, to detect leaks and stop the process. Use system equipped with HEPA filter on the rotor chamber to prevent possible contaminants to escape to the environment. Here is now section 2B the scalability important consideration. The scalability can either be scale up, down, meaning the changes the volume of a set equipment quantity. The equipment goes bigger or smaller to process more or less volume. Scale out, in, meaning changes, changing the quantity of the set equipment volume. The number of equipment goes plus or minus to process more or less volume. The linearity is important to ensure the same process parameters apply throughout the different scale of the process. To perform scalability in a batch centrifuge, one can change the container volume, paying attention to keep the same geometry K factor and separation total G force, or change the container quantity, which is obviously not impacting the separation parameters. In a zonal continuous flow centrifuge, one can change the rotor volume, keeping the separation parameters and the residential time the same. When performing the harvest and clarification steps, to scale the process when using the centrifuge, please consider the following. The choice of container volume, and the choice of rotor container capacity. When performing the purification, concentration, polishing steps, to scale the process when using a centrifuge, please consider the choice of rotor and core volume with same particle separation in different pass lengths. The linear scalability is ensured by adjusting the process flow rate. Here is now section 2C, the compliance important consideration. The compliance to quality and regulatory is an important consideration because it controls the strategy to manage the production processes within an established design space. It controls the data integrity, the trustability, the validation, and the certification.
to perform a, a compliant process when using centrifuge, one should ensure that the hardware is compliant to standard to safety standards, compliant to trustability with the necessary software for batch data report and audit trail, compliant to connectivity with user management, time synchronization, data archive, and system backup, compliant to ISO certified manufacturing. To perform a compliant process when using centrifuge, one should ensure that the product contact wear is compliant to certification with the USP class 6, for example, compliant to extractable and nicheable, in room manufacturing with DNL testing, compliant to trustability, validation data sterilized with certificate compliant to ISO certified manufacturing. When performing the harvest, clarification, purification, concentration, polishing steps, to perform a compliant process when using a centrifuge, please consider the following the choice of container material, the necessary certification for product contact parts, the necessary certification for equipment, the availability of, <coughs> sorry, the availability of qualification services, the availability of trustability software and connectivity. Here is now section 2D, the flexibility important consideration. A flexible manufacturing space allows a facility to operate at different scales and or produce multiple products without too much cost and effort change out. A flexible process can respond to challenges such as new projects, a project that comes from an acquisition, partnership, or merger, and all without requiring many complicated adjustments. To maximize flexibility when using centrifuge, one should review the capability of the equipment to process a range of volume, a range of separation g-force, and a range of separation time. To cover various applications, such as different cell types and different steps of the workflow, and to adapt to various process variations, such as different cell culture, density, turbidity, and cell strain. When performing the harvest and clarification steps to maximize the process flexibility when using a centrifuge, Please consider the choice of selectable G-force, separation time, temperature, acceleration, and deceleration adjustments. When performing the purification, concentration, polishing steps to maximize the process flexibility when using the centrifuge. 
Please also consider the choice of selectable G-force, separation time, temperature, acceleration and deceleration adjustments. And in addition, the availability of an integrated process control to optimize and automatize the loading, the separation, the collection, the cleaning, and the decontamination of the process. Here is now section 2E, the reliability important consideration. The reliability is an important consideration because it describes as the belief forming processes that produces either mostly true beliefs or a higher ratio of true to false beliefs. Therefore, the proper handling and maintenance of the equipment is key to ensure the most uptime. To optimize reliability when using centrifuge, one should follow the container cleaning, the decontamination, the inspection, and the lifetime good practice, as well as the rotor balancing, the rotor inspection, the equipment cleaning and maintenance good practices. When performing the harvest, clarification, purification, concentration, polishing steps to optimize reliability process when using the centrifuge, please consider the following. The, con the container maximum usage, the rotor extended warranty, the rotor inspection services, the training, the maintenance, and the requalification services. Let us finish with section three, presenting the Thermo Fisher scientific range of bioprocess centrifuges. Thermo Fisher Scientific offers a range of bioprocess centrifuges addressing the need for harvest, clarification and purification, concentration, polishing steps in the bioprocess workflow. For harvesting, the Thermo Scientific Sorvol Bio 16 centrifuge. For harvesting and clarifying the Thermo Scientific Sorvol Bio a centrifuge, the Lynx 4000 and the Lynx 6000 super speed centrifuges. For purifying, concentrating, and polishing, the Thermo Scientific Sorvol WX Plus, the CC40 SNX, and the CC40 NX ultra speed centrifuges. The Thermo Scientific Sorvol Bio 16 centrifuge is a batch centrifuge specific for cell culture harvest with minimum investment and footprint. The Thermo Scientific Sorvol Bio A centrifuge is also a batch centrifuge with minimum investment and footprint, but with higher G-force capable of both the cell culture harvest 
and the clarification. The thermoscientific thermal links for super speed centrifuge is a batch and a continuous flow centrifuge for clarification of micro-sized particles. The thermoscientific thermal bio WX plus CC40 SNX and CC40 NX ultra speed centrifuge are batch and continuous flow centrifuge for purification of nano-sized particles, like virus for manufacturing vaccines with linear scale-up from R&D to pilot to commercial GMP production. The thermoscientific Sorvol Bio 16 centrifuge has capacity up to 16 liters in 1 liter and 2 liters bottle for mammalian, yeast, and bacteria separation. The thermoscientific Sorvol Bio A centrifuge has capacity up to 10 liters in 1 liter bottles for also mammalian, yeast, and bacteria separation, but at a higher G force. The thermosorvol, sorry, the thermoscientific sorvol links super speed centrifuge is a batch with bottles up to one liter and a continuous flow up to over 40,000 G4 centrifuge for clarification of micro sized particles. The thermoscientific sorvol WX plus CT40 SNX and CC40NX ultra speed centrifuges are batch and continuous flow centrifuges for purification of nano sized particles, usually using the density gradient separation technique in batch of 1 liter up to 100 liters. Please visit us on www.thermofisher.com slash flex for what's next to learn more about Thermofisher scientific bioprocess centrifuges with application notes, tips, brochures, and more. This is now the end of the presentation. Thank you all for joining. Well, thank you, Ben, for your informative presentation. We'll now start the live Q&A portion of the webinar. If you have a question you'd like to ask, please do so now. Just click on the Ask a Question box located on the far left of your screen, and we'll answer as many questions as we have time for. All right, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> okay, Ben, your first question is, what is the preferred process volume when harvesting with thermo, with thermo Fisher Scientific Sorval Bio 16 centrifuge? All right. Um, yeah, thank you for the question. So the, uh, the Thermo Scientific Sorval Bio 16 centrifuge is a batch centrifuge and it has a maximum capacity of 16 liters and um, a maximum force of little over 7,000 G. Uh, this centrifuge is capable to accept six or eight times the one liter or the two liters bottle. Uh, one cycle lasts for about 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, therefore, it's designed to process uh, from one liter up to a yeah, few hundred lit liter of cell culture. Great, thank you. All right, your next question. 
what is the difference between thermoscientific Sorval BIOS A centrifuge and Lynx Super Speed Series centrifuges? Uh, okay, uh, so the, uh, the, the thermoscientific Sorval BIOS A centrifuge is uh, specific for the bioprocess applications. Uh, it is capable to spin 10 bottles of one liter at up to 10,000 G. Uh, the typical application is harvest and clarification of cell culture. As the thermoscientific Sorval Lynx super speed centrifuge uh, is, a, is a versatile machine as it comes with a wide range of rotors for not only bioprocess applications. Uh, in case of bioprocess application, it can spin uh, bottles up to 20,000 G force in a batch rotor and uh, samples at little over 40,000 G in a continuous flow rotor. But the Lynx uh, super speed centrifuge has a large range of rotors for many other applications as well. Okay, and the next question, what is the typical application for the Thermo Scientific Sorval CC40NX Ultra Speed Series centrifuges, and how is it different from other centrifuges? So the, um, the Thermo Scientific Sorval CC40NX Ultra Speed Centrifuge uh, is unique uh, by the, uh, the vertical tubular rotor uh, and it's capable of liquid-liquid separation as well as liquid-solid separation of the nano-sized particles in continuous flow for the GMP application. Uh, the separated material can withdraw and analyze online for automated closed system process. Uh, so it is unique in, the, in this case, and it's mostly used in the vaccine purification workflow uh, at uh, various scales. So uh, the R&D scale as the pilot and the commercial industrial scale. And it's also used in the gene therapy for the capsid full and empty polishing. Thank you, Ben. All right, we've got one last question for you here. Is a traceability software available to support GMP applications? So yes, of course, uh, the traceability software is available across the full range of the thermoscientific centrifuges. Uh, and the software is delivering the user management, the audit trail, and the batch data reports. And the software supports most of the GMP application requirements. Thanks again, Ben. And do you have any final comments for our audience before we close today? Yeah, thank you for, for listening. And uh, feel free to contact uh, yeah, my mail, my mailbox directly uh, if uh, any question or follow up. Thanks again, Ben, for your time today and for your important research. And we would also like to thank LabRoots and our sponsor, Thermo Fisher Scientific, for underwriting today's educational webcast. Before we go, I'd like to thank the audience for joining us today and for their questions. Again, any questions we did not have time for today and those submitted during the on-demand period will be addressed by Ben via the contact information you provided at the time of registration. This webcast can be viewed on demand 
and Labbers will alert you via email when it's available for replay. We encourage you to share that email with your colleagues who may have missed today's live event. Until next time, take care. Goodbye.